What's going on guys? It's Ed back again here and welcome back to yet another episode of the Crystal Palace career mode here on the channel. This is episode 12 and today we are going to be finishing the month of April and kicking on to the month of May where we will pretty much finish the, se the, the first season. We'll finish the first season in the next episode. If you, do, if you have been enjoying this series, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel and boom let's get into it so we've got leeds and southampton today and watford and then tomorrow we're tomorrow day after the next episode we're going to be having aston villa away manchester united at home finishing the season trying to get as high up the league as possible we've turned our form around pretty much we're 13th in the league now where at christmas we were bottom we were looking like we were going to go down but we're far clearer of the drop zone now newcastle burnley and watford are the ones looking like they're going to be going down if you have any video ideas, please leave them down in the comment section below. Um, I'm trying to brainstorm loads of video ideas, the best videos I can bring to you guys, both on FIFA, Football Manager, in real life, everything. Just let me know down in the comment section below. Um, and if you have anything that would improve this series, also let me know down in, in the comment section below. But without any further ado, we're going to crack on to Leeds United, who currently sit 11th. Uh, only four points ahead of us, so hopefully we can bridge that gap to them. Our fitness is woeful. That's nice. We're going to have to rotate heavily here. Simicast. Um, a couple of you guys, a lot of you guys are actually very angry and upset with me that I sold Tarek Mitchell. I apologise about that. I hope it really doesn't impact this series moving forward. But I thought Simicast, obviously playing for Liverpool in real life, has been quality. So I thought I'd bring him in. I don't know why I let Mitchell go. Looking at Mitchell's potential now, it's like 85. I probably shouldn't have let him go. I definitely shouldn't have let him go. So I regret that. And I hope for, that you guys can forgive me. Um, but the business we've done in January has turned our form around. So, you know, who, who, who knows what could have happened if we didn't make that deal. But... You know our team. We don't know Leeds' team. We don't really care about Leeds' team because the only goal scorers are going to be Crystal Palace players. What are you doing? What are you doing? I do not believe what I've just seen. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. What are you doing? I've pressed A to pass it to the fullback on the other side. He goes to pass it and stops. Oh my days, right. We've been on a pretty good run of late with our luck we've had pretty good luck but uh, <laughs> an absolute howler from jack butland puts us behind in a game where <sighs> should we be ahead probably not as a oh rod rodrigo Rodrigo's playing where, sorry? Okay, so Marcelo Bielsa has chose to put Rodrigo as a centre-back. That is 79 overall rated striker, Rodrigo. Oh, Ben Teke, wow, get off the pitch. Edward, get him on. Let's get our main man on this season and try and salvage this game. Use that distraction run of Gallagher for Jeffrey Schlupp. Jeffrey. Gone a bit wide with it. Oh, it was a bad shot. It was a terrible shot. I went, a bit, I went too wide with it. That was my fault. Eze, can you slip through Edward? Yes, Odson Edward has Chris. Oh, I don't know why I said Crystal Palace. 
But all, all I know is that Crystal Palace are level. As soon as we bring Edouard off the bench, we score. I don't know why. I don't know how. But Odson Edouard is our main man and will forever be our main man in this save. What a goal. Brilliantly worked goal as well. And finally, we've been able to score against a, a Leeds United defence with Rodrigo in. Here we go. Edouard, oh my days. The super sub of the century. The super sub of the century. <laughs> Odson, Edouard, comes off the bench again. Wins us the game again. Finally, we've had the quality to exploit Rodrigo being at centre-back, which is a bug. It's got to be a bug unless they've trained him as a centre-back. I don't know why they would. Elise. Eze. Elise. Here we go. This for three. Oh my god, I've, I've messed it up. Have I? Wilfred Zaha. No, just about. Wilfred Zaha puts the final nail in the Leeds United coffin as... I could have sworn I messed that up. I wasn't whether... I was in two minds. I would take the shot of Elise or square it. In the end, I sort of squared it, but far too powerfully. We've been able to save it. And we've been able to save this game and come away with three points. Let's help us climb the table some more. Next up, we are back to full strength against Southampton as we quick simit. We get a 1-1 draw away at Southampton. We led five minutes in through Wilfred Zaha. Who else apart from Edouard or Zaha is going to be scoring our goals? I mean, I'm going to be very intrigued to see at the end of the season what the goal scoring tally is like as we advance into May, the final month of the season. Progress assessment. We're not going to be growing the club financially. We're not going to be representing the brand very good. Conor Gallagher's loan is expiring. He is one person that I'm tempted to bring back to the club for next season. Benjamin Wilkes, training his weak foot, will be an exceptional player. An N'Golo Kante type player. Ladies and gentlemen, it's match day. Let's go and perform against bottom of the league Watford in a simulated game. Now, we're going to give some players a rest. Hughes, MacArthur, Klein, Gaeta, Tompkins. We rested a few players for this and we lost. How did we lose? Watford have only got 18 points all season. How did we lose? Okay, so... That completely throws top 10 out of the door. We had a game in hand. We still sit five points behind Arsenal. And yeah, we're not going to get top 10. We'll get top 10 next season. We'll get more than top 10 next season. But that's a very disappointing loss to Watford, that is. Very disappointing loss. Hmm. Don't know what's gone on there. Don't know what's gone on there. Every time I play Gaeta, we lose. I don't know. Let's advance and play Aston Villa and hopefully get a better result than what we just had against Watford because that was terrible. Gallagher loan set to expire. Right. Approach to buy. We've got £18 million in the bank, which we need to spend before next season. So this could be a big deal. Can we get in for £7 million? Chelsea want 11 .3. Eight and a half. Million pounds for Big Connor to come to the club. Nine and nine. 9.9. .9. How about nine? 9.9. .9. Thomas Tuchel's. Come on, man. 9.4. 9.4. W. Connor Gallagher coming back. Okay. Big Connor. Loved his time at the club this season. Will be an important player for us. He wants five years. He's going to be a club legend at Crystal Palace. 
no release clause. He's currently on 61 grand. This is where we're going to have to see if we can get it down to 45 or such. Decent. We re-signed Conor Gallagher, who will be a Crystal Palace player next season. A, a permanent Crystal Palace player next season. Boom. Kirkby will get to it soon enough. Decent, decent, decent. Let me know your transfer suggestions down in the comment section below. we still got £8 million to play with. Hopefully we can, can spend some of that before the end of the season. Let's go to Aston Villa. Our final away game, I believe. Our final away game of the season. Let's treat the travelling fans to a great win. We've gone with our full strength lineup. Boys, if you've watched this series for a long time, you'll know what our full strength lineup is. Aston Villa seem to have gone pretty strong as well. All the, the main players are in there, I can see. Danny Ings leading the line. Oh, big ball straight for the middle. Leon Bailey's shot, saved well by Jack Butland. I thought he was going to go in the other corner for a second. That's worrying though. That's worrying. We've been opened up twice there so easily. Villa have had two big chances in the first 20 minutes. Well, we'd definitely be 3-0 down in this game. Oh, that's poor. That's terrible. John McGinn does make it 1-0, right. My form has, has completely deteriorated to the end of the season. Edward. Simicass. Oh, I tried to get that return ball to Edward, but I couldn't. We're looking field. Zaha. Simicass. Pulled back. Zaha shot blocked. Shot blocked by Odson Edward. Sums up our first half, that. Just, just, it's not really been good enough in the final. It's been the final ball all, all game. That's nice from Zaha. Stands it up. Looking for Conor Gallagher, but can't win that again. <laughs> Milivojevic has done well. Ball through. Edward's touch has let him down. It's the one man. That's the one man we'd want it to fall to. Boom. Got that run of Elise. We'll find that run of Elise. Who finds the roof of the net? Thank you. Thank the Lord. Wow. What a huge moment that is. What a huge moment that is. It's not going to do much for our season. It's not going to do anything for our season. Eze, we're on, we're on top now. Oh, big tackle from Konzo. He's been very good today. And that's going to be it. We draw away against Aston Villa in a game where we didn't play very well at the first half. Then the second half, we were incredible. I think a point is deserved. We had more chances, but we just couldn't take them. Our final ball wasn't good enough. But Elise was the man to draw us level. And we have one game left in this season, which we started off, thought we were going to get relegated. Now, we're probably going to finish 12th or 13th. I will see you here very soon for the next episode, for the season finale. Of, of season one at Crystal Palace on FIFA 22. If you want to see a season two, go ham on the like ratings and let me know down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Have a very nice rest of your day. Leave all your comments, suggestions down in the comment section um, and we will see who wins the league in the next episode. I'll see you here very soon for the finale of season one of FIFA 22. Crystal Palace, Korea mode. I don't know why I couldn't speak then. Have a very nice rest of your day. Goodbye.